YouTube. It's Friday morning. Five days, no loads. I have not gotten a load all week. This is gonna be our first load for the week. We, we dropped that load in uh, Arizona on Monday night. Spent the night there at the hotel. And um, on Tuesday at around noon, DM said, hey, deadhead up to uh, Tuella, Utah, which was like 652 miles, and uh, hopefully we'll get you a load, which would have been on Wednesday. So I hauled butt up here. I got here at 1 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, and I actually parked here. I parked over there, right in there. Went to bed, got up in the morning, checked in with my DM, and uh, Told her I wouldn't be ready. I, I wouldn't get my reset till 11 o'clock in the morning or whatever. But I'm ready to go. I figured I can get the trailer and do what I need to do to it, and you know, not leave till 11. Anyway, I sat here until two, three o'clock in the morning uh, afternoon. So I sat all day, and uh, my DM said, "Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a, a load for you." So I then drove, there's a Flying J 20 miles away. I drove over there and parked Wednesday evening about four o'clock or whatever. Went and rode my bike up in those hills up there and uh, went to bed and then basically got this load yesterday afternoon to pick up this morning. So we haven't done anything. We're going to San Antonio. We're going to San Antonio. Um, so with our deadhead miles, that'll be 2,000 miles for the week, deliver on Monday. Um, also, I'll, I'll get layover pay. Uh, I'm not sure how much, probably, I don't know, $150 or more. Uh, I don't even think it's $200, but I'll get that. There are I think eight total Melton drivers. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's another one over here, seven. And I think there's another one over there, eight. And myself, that's nine sitting here waiting. I already checked in beforehand, so my trailer is, uh, I dropped my empty over there and my trailer is already at the dock. They just have to load it. Once it gets loaded, girl will call me and tell me hey your trailer's ready wherever that may be it's either going to be parked right there or it'll be parked out there it doesn't really matter it's a no tarp so we'll get rolling i want to go to moab get down to moab that's like uh less than 300 miles away that may be where we stop tonight i'm not in a, i'm not in any big hurry to get all the way down to san antonio today it is what it is day we are in uh, Moab Utah we are in no big hurry we're delivering in San Antonio on Tuesday so we got plenty of time <laughs> so I got another hotel room <laughs> but anyway we're um, in this valley uh, the road is called uh, Cane Creek Road and um, we're just been riding it through the valley here this is pretty cool right here. This rock, it's just sitting here, just sitting here. But all of that is old Indian 
carvings on this rock here. Pretty cool. Oh, but we'll have about 30 miles in today. And then we're gonna ride back to the hotel, take a shower and figure out what we're gonna eat. There's a barbecue place across the street. I don't know if I want barbecue. There's Indian cuisine right next door. I like that idea. We'll look. But uh, it's, been, uh, it's been years since I've stayed in Moab. I used to come out here all the time, go camping out here all the time. Either uh, the Colorado River runs through here. I've camped on the Colorado River before. I've camped up there, up, up, over that hill, that ridge. I've camped over there before. Um, lots of places to camp around here. But anyway, this is just one of my favorite places. <laughs> it just puts a big smile on my face. All right, let's get going. Well, we hiked up here again. This is our second time. Back in uh, November of 2022, we hiked up here. It was a little cooler. It's actually pretty nice. But... So it's August of 2024. A couple of milestones this month for me. First one, August makes five years with Milton truck lines and driving flatbed. I've enjoyed all five years of working for Milton. Um, I'm not ready to give up flatbed and I'm not moving on from Milton. The other milestone is last year in August, end of August, I got back on my truck after my heart surgery. So we've been running for a year now and I feel good. I just hiked up this thing Got a little sweat going. <clears throat> so I'm pretty happy. I kind of wanted to talk about a few things also. This is uh, Saturday. And that load out there is my first and only load for the week. Should I be upset with Milton? Not really. Because had I had my hazmat endorsement, I would have gotten a load on Wednesday because all the loads going out of Tooele were hazmat, eight of them. I do not have my hazmat endorsement. I don't want my hazmat endorsement. So that was something that I elected not to get. And that's the first time it if, has affected me getting a load. I've normally not. We don't get that many hazmat loads, so I don't really worry about it. And I don't want the responsibility. The other thing is, is that, um, I was fortunate enough to start this five years ago when freight was plentiful and they needed drivers. And during the pandemic, COVID, I ran. I ran all the time. I've said this a million times. I ran, we ran. So becoming a truck driver right now and not getting as many loads, not getting as many miles has got to be hard. And I don't know, I might have quit by now had I started this year. So I get a lot of messages from guys complaining that they're not getting loads and everything, and I'm not getting loads either, really. Right now, it's hard to be a truck driver and make money. But I was fortunate to get in, in this a long time ago. Um, I don't have any answers for you. You can try and stick it out. I think it'll get better. Um, not this year, but hopefully next year it'll get better. We'll see. But as a news driver, um, sitting around and you're not making any money, you're not making as much as I'm making just because I've been here longer. That's all, that's the little reason why. But <clears throat> last week I got 3,400 miles. The, week, the two weeks before that were 2,100. This week is gonna be 2,000 miles. So I'm getting the same amount of miles that you guys are getting as well. I'm just not in a position to hurt financially right now. That's just where it's at for me. But I will say that I don't know that I would have gotten in trucking right now. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> 